we have to understand that there are some people out there who loves to argue, who loves to fight, who loves to fuss, so on and so on. We have to understand that. It is abnormal for people to always do this. So that shows you that those people have a psychological issue. That shows you that those people have demons. So stop falling for the bait. If a person is purposely trying to provoke you to anger, why would you even respond to that person? If you can, stay away from people like that, if you can. Now, that person who is purposely provoking you to anger, that is a sin. They are sinning. Okay, if you fall for the bait, get angry and begin to have a heated argument with them. Now, yes, doing that, then start having impure thoughts. Now, you are sinning now. So who actually wins in a situation like that? Only the demons. So don't fall for the bait. Because people who are always arguing, fussing, so on and so on, that is showing you that person have demons. Because that is not of God. It is not normal to do those things. How can you say that you are of God, but you are always arguing? Makes no sense. Makes absolutely no sense. You are always speaking negatively about people. How can you say that you are of God? You are not. Okay. So here are some examples here of things that people may say to provoke you to anger. And of course, there are many more that people may say to try to get you angry. You don't have to respond to them. You don't. Well, Kevin, if a person says something mean to me, I am just going to, you know, blah, 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 blah. I am going to say something back. Self-esteem issues. If you feel the need to respond every time when a person insults you, that shows you that you have some type of self-esteem issue. And it shows that the person who is provoking you to anger or other people as well, that is showing you that that person has a self-esteem issue as well. Let's go to number one. Examples of things that people may say, wait a minute. I don't know if I did number one yet. So examples of things that people may say to try to get you angry or to provoke you to anger. Like I said, you don't have to respond to these things. You think you are so great. Now, why in the world would you respond to a person that is saying that to you. This is only going to get you angry. You can walk away. You don't have to stay there because saying something like that 
what good can come out of it so this is showing you this person is trying to get you angry so you can fight and fuss with them number two why do you believe that you are better than everyone else now unless you are arrogant or conceited now that question may make sense but if you know that you aren't you don't have to respond to that person because chances are this person may be jealous of you jealous or envious makes sense right walk away number three tell me about your fairy tale God I don't believe in him if a person is saying this to you showing you that they are not really trying to learn of God stay away from them stay away because let me say this too never 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 argue about anything that pertains to God what I give me one second okay don't ever ever argue about anything that pertains to God if a person is saying that they believe in this and you are saying that you you believe in something else keep it at that because you can't force a person to see things in the way that you see them or in the right way if you are right chances are you may be wrong but if you are right sometimes people may not know the truth so it is going to take them time to get to that point the thing that you don't want to do is start arguing about things that pertain to God because it is not going to do anything for you what benefit is there to arguing nothing gets solved just more confusion makes sense right number five or number four how can you believe in an imaginary God same thing don't respond to a person that says this number five you are really dumb right same thing walk away what good can come out to responding to this nothing no good can come out of this by saying anything so walk away number six why do you always make mistakes now you may say well Kevin you know I always do make mistakes that may be true but sometimes when the person says this it is not really that you are always making mistakes like this person is trying to get down on you trying to insult you trying to say that you don't do anything right if a person is speaking to you in this type of way you don't have to respond to that person you really don't why would you number seven you will always fail in life number eight no one will ever love you <laughs> many people may respond may respond to things like this for what you are being provoked 
And if you are not careful, you are going to begin to argue and fuss, fight, so on and so on, and start having negative thoughts. Now you are in sin. So be careful. I really hope this makes sense. God bless.